Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Josie and if you are, consider subscribing. I have all my links below if you want to have a private reading with me, anything from my Etsy shop or if you want to consider being a patron of this channel, we do have six different levels, many ways for you to connect with me. Today we have a reading which is all about what's next in your love life. Is it a reconciliation with someone? Is it a new love connection? Or is it a commitment? Maybe you are already in a relationship and you want to know, is it the next level of commitment? So what's next here in your love life? Whether you have someone now or not? So we try to tap here and see. We do have three options for you. Group one, it's with Moonstone, and this is the Game of Thrones deck. And group two, it's Appetite, and this is the Arcane on Tarot. And group three, it's with Rose Quartz, and this is the Black and Gold uh, RWS, so the original tarot here for you. So whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one, but of course you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, are with you to support this channel, Everything will be in the description below. Again, guys, group one with Moonstone, two Appetite, three Rose Quartz. The timestamp will be below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you chose the Moonstone and the Game of Thrones deck, we're going to add many other decks as well, charms too, so you get all the information possible. So what's next in your love life here? New love, reconciliation, commitment. Let's see here. We do have the King of Cups straight away here, guys. King of Cups. Also, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Do have the Magician in reverse. And uh, also the Moon. Okay. We do have the Hierophant. Interesting here, guys. Eight of Swords. Okay, I see where this is going already. We'll get many other cards here, but just to start. Okay, so the King of Cups. This is already showing here the water signs. So it could be your sign or their sign. It's still some moon rising here for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it feels here someone that, that definitely has feelings for you. Okay, so this person here already having feelings for you. I feel like this is someone that you know already, or it could be in a relationship already, or even trying to come back into your life. But we'll get more here, okay? So this is someone you know. And I feel like with the Nine of Cups here, it could be something that they really wanted to do to manifest to be with you. You know, that wish here coming true, but then they were not able to. So maybe you rejected this person, or it could be that uh, you're trying to be together and didn't work out here. So it was some kind of wish not fulfilled here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So it really feels here like someone who was trying. So I'm not sure if this is an ex or even someone that you just rejected. Okay, so if you are in a relationship here, in any case, we'll get more into that as well. But I feel like straight away, if you are single or if you're not with someone right now, it doesn't feel like an energy of someone new. It feels like you either rejected or you didn't work out for you guys. Okay, it feels like you wanted to, this, you know, to work out. The magician here, both, you know, I do feel like both of you. But something here didn't work out or it was too difficult. It could have been fears of commitment, okay? We do have the moon here. So it really feels like secrets are coming to the surface. It could be that this person is going to trust more how they feel to come forward here and tell you, bring forward here their feelings for you. I do feel here, if you are in a relationship with your person, they are hiding here something from you. And it doesn't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like it's just their feelings. It could be that for you guys in a relationship, your person could be planning here the next level of commitment for you. Okay, so if you are in a relationship for a while, this could be someone planning even getting married, you know, surprising you with the uh, engagement because we do have the higher fund here too. So I feel like you guys who are in a relationship, this feels like a commitment here that is coming, but someone who is working on that because they don't know exactly what to say, what to do, how to approach you could be planning. It's a slow move here. The Hierophant is also Taurus energy, but also the slow move here, one step at a time to achieve what they want. So again, guys, you know, it's different, of course, if you are in a relationship or not. But for the guys not in a relationship, it feels like an ex trying to come back or someone that maybe you rejected. Maybe you guys were just friends and didn't really have a chance, but it feels like it was a wish not fulfilled or maybe started the relationship and didn't go forward. 
but someone who definitely feels for you. The feelings are there, could be just pretending, could be just hiding that they don't feel for you because you do have the moon, secrets, like a secret admirer at this point, you know, the energy here as a secret admirer, but it really feels like someone that maybe they had a fear of commitment in the past. Maybe that's what held you guys back, but at the same time, they still have feelings for you. They still wanted to come back. We do have the Eight of Swords too. So it really feels like someone who doesn't know how to approach you, how to communicate well. They feel stuck right now on you know, what to say, what to do, especially if they messed up in the past. Maybe if you guys hurt each other as well. You know, so take what's resonating here for you, of course. But it really feels like the communication here, something that they wanted to work on this, but they may not know exactly what to say, what to do. Again, if you are in a relationship, could be that your person is working here, what to say, what to do, how can they approach this conversation here of the next level of commitment or even engagement or the next thing here for you guys. So it feels like wherever you are, maybe you are early days in the relationship and moving forward here, getting more serious. Or if you're already serious, you know, moving forward, moving together, engagement, all that kind of energy is here. But it feels like someone who is, is still holding back. It could be they're not just confident enough to come forward and talk to you. We're going to get some clarifiers here. We're going to get a few other cards too. But I wanted to clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. And was this something that this person wanted to? And even the Magician in reverse too. So Nine of Cups in reverse here. The Star. Yeah. It is someone who has it still has hope for you to be with you. But I do feel like the energy of someone who, you know, their hopes were shattered here in some way, or they were really hoping to be with you, hoping that this relationship was going to go somewhere. This is for the guys that are not in a relationship. I really feel this is not a new energy in your life. You know this person, even if it's not an ex, for many of you it's an ex. But for many of you that it's not an ex here, is at least a friend that you rejected, that you didn't really have a chance. You didn't have an opportunity to go deeper here in this connection with this person, okay? So it feels like uh, they were just hoping to be with you, hoping the connection would take off, but it didn't in some way. For you guys in the relationship already, this is just the hope that things will continue for you guys. I want to see the magician in reverse, because the magician here is someone not having much courage. Yeah, the Knight of Spears is the Knight of uh, Wands here. So you see the Knight of Wands, the courage that they needed to build up. And the Magician in Reverse is exactly someone who is not having the courage to step into their power, being able to understand they have all the tools on their hands to resolve this, to connect, to come forward with their feelings, but they could be holding back just in needed to build up the courage of the Knight of Spears. It's the Knight of Wands, that fire, that passion. They need to trust that before being able to move forward here. So very interesting. Really, I feel the energy of someone coming back into your life here for you guys. You know, it could be exes coming back, ex-friends that uh, always had feelings for you. But also you guys in the relationship, I feel the energy of the relationship moving forward. Okay, so let's get any other energy here, any other information we can understand here. We do have clarity. Yes, interesting with clarity. Someone that maybe needs the clarity of mind, you know, uh, feeling like they are confident again. To speak up the clarity the communication you can see here the energy of the swords as well and again we do have the eight of swords so it is someone who's feeling stuck now how to communicate how can they be clear with you of exactly what they want or clearing the things that didn't work out in the past what happened how can they be clear with you that they will be different this time things will work out this time you can trust them this time it's all those energies coming back here okay so maybe someone who needs to prove themselves to you as well Okay, so let's see anything else. You do have vulnerable, yeah. Maybe this person is afraid of feeling vulnerable right now because maybe they you know they're trying to protect their hearts here too. They were hurt in the past, so they, you guys hurt each other as well, or maybe you rejected them. Or this person, or even if you are with them in a relationship, they don't know. They need to be vulnerable to tell you exactly how they feel. The moon energy, having to go deeper to really bring to the surface the finish, what needs to be dealt with. Also, healing as well for many of you could be healing, forgiveness that needs to happen, needs to work on that first before being able to have the clarity, the communication and be honest. Okay, so that's what's coming next. It depends on what you want as well. It doesn't mean like you have to accept this person back. I'm just telling you, is the energy coming back next year for you? Depends what you want. Okay, also have mysterious. This definitely connecting with the moon energy again. 
with someone holding back. You know, could be a secret right now how they feel about you. Could be just holding back and not sharing exactly. Could be just someone who is very mysterious, who is very seductive as well. That energy here of this cat. So the mysterious here, I feel connected with the moon. So no doubt here, someone who is holding back on telling you exactly how they feel. So that's why it really doesn't feel like a new energy. It really feels like someone who you know already they were there but they're holding back they're being very careful here as well they don't want it to get hurt hurt you go to the same issues that they had in the past or even if you are with this person in a relationship maybe they are holding back here because they're waiting for the right moment the right time here and also maybe they were hurt in the past connections maybe they were in a serious relationship before they don't want it to rush here Let's try to understand here. Okay, we do have peace. Okay, straight away jump in here. Yeah, I feel like this energy of peace here is the peace of mind that they need to have. They need to be really clear that they are doing the right thing. They need that energy. Okay, so they need peace of mind here. I feel like some of them could be overthinking, especially with this Eight of Swords here. Overthinking that it's not going to work out or you're going to be rejecting them. Or what if worst case scenarios here in their minds. And it may not be this difficult, but they're overthinking here in some way okay so anything else here we can understand about this energy your connection here with this person we're gonna get charms as well we also have community yes so interesting the first thing i got here with this community this energy i don't read just the kinds the energy too this energy is someone who could be asking for help here you know so maybe you guys have friends in common Maybe it could be family here. If you are in a relationship, I feel like your person is planning here, like I said, the next level of commitment. Maybe you do have someone that are helping them. You know, someone here, friends, family, helping to approach you the right way, the right time here. So there's some kind of help, community here. So someone is there, okay, for this person. Anything else here we can understand? What's going on here? We also have love. Yeah, there's no doubt the love is there. The feelings are there. This is someone who loves you, who has feelings for you, maybe holding back and not being able to express the best for you right now. But it could be, again, because of all these energies. It could be healing, disappointments of the past, you no know, pushing back of the past. And also someone who loves you, but they're still just waiting for the right moment here to approach you. They need some kind of peace of mind as well that this is the right time. Just in case, you know, they're trying to avoid any issues here. But I really feel here energy of someone that you know. You at least know this person. If you guys are not in a relationship and, you know, at least someone who was your friend in the past, you know them, they could have approached in the past and maybe you didn't understand or you rejected them, like I said. But really energies here that are coming back. I feel like this is really surfacing here like the moon. The moon's bringing clarity here to this energy. And coming back here again you guys in a relationship things are moving forward you can see the love is there just waiting for the right moment here guys anything else we can understand here any focus here we have trust yeah the energy of having to trust trust that the things will work out this time trust how they feel maybe you guys need to trust them again like i said some of them maybe wanted to prove themselves to you so you are able to trust them again you know, the energy here of maybe they know that they, you don't trust them anymore at this point. You know, could have been the energy of hurting each other. There's all that here, but trusting. Okay, so trusting their heart as well. Trusting to be able to open up to tell you how they feel. We also have temptation. So I feel like they could be tempting you, especially just some kind of tests here to see if you feel the same, if you want to the same, if you have the same goals. I feel like they could be tempting you some way. This could be a temptation for you. You know, this person coming back into your life is a decision, of course, if you want them back or not. But this is what's coming next. So it's up to you if you want them, of course. But, you know, I feel like that's a temptation. For you guys who are together, you know, they could be tempting you, just teasing you, trying to see here if you're still interested, if you are feeling the same. So it really feels all this energies here. Again, I feel like this energy is because someone who is not sure how you feel or how you will react to them approaching you this way, either with commitment, either showing you how they feel. It really feels like they're trying to check first are you feeling the same are you this in the same energy here so just in case really interesting here the way that energy is coming nothing negative okay guys nothing negative mirroring yes that's what i said about 
um, try to see if you feel the same. I really feel like this person here is trying to see. I, are we feeling the exact same? Are we mirroring each other here on those feelings? On what we want next on this commitment? Or if we want to give a chance again in this connection? Or if we're going to give a chance after all? So it really feels someone who is trying to test here. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? I feel like a word as well because they're not sure how you feel. Even if you are in a relationship, it feels like your person is not sure that you want the exact same on the next level of this commitment, on the next goal, the next idea where you're going with this connection. So they are checking here on you. It really feels here positive, guys, okay? So in case you wanted to give this person a chance as well, of course, it's up to you. But it feels like it's coming here, checking on you just in case, you know? So I feel like someone who's trying here their best to understand how you feel so they can approach the right moment, the right time. The love is here, but it's hidden, okay? So something is still hiding there. And then they are, I feel, afraid of feeling vulnerable, but they know they need to open up. They need to be vulnerable for you to be able to trust them again, to give them maybe a chance or even plan the same with them. I'm going to add some charms. I'm not sure if you have seen me using the charms. I'm going to use the charms more often now on the channel. I like that. I just finally organized here where to put. So it can add some initial zodiac that many things here. Numbers. Okay, so I'm trying to get as much information as possible here for your person. I'm just trying to mix here. So we do have some initials. So it could be your initials, your person's initials. We do have Aries here. So we do have C and Y. We also have H here. Okay. And uh, there's another letter. Another H. Okay. So C, Y, H, and H. So it could be nicknames or... It could be initials, could be your initials too. So we do have Aries here. Again, it could be your sign, their sign, sun, moon, rising. We do have some numbers. So it could be birthdays, when you guys meet, when you guys will meet again, when you guys met in the past. Okay, so we do have 5, 16, 10, 12, 18. We have some words here. We have night, wild, celebrate, music. So if you, if you can create maybe a phrase or something that calls your attention is for you, we have to have me, can, am. So maybe there's something that's calling your attention, it's for you. There's a lot of transformation here. It really feels like this person is going through some kind of deep transformation, really trusting their feelings. Could be that they had to go through some healing as well to trust how they feel for you. There's a lot of emotions, feelings, water energy here. You can see the commitment, okay? You can see two, two rings here. So no doubt commitment is on the air here for you guys who are in a relationship already. Or even if you are not, you know, this person is coming now, not playing around. They're coming with commitment. They're coming with a chance here, trying to really take a real chance here. They're not playing. And uh, yeah, it feels like you're going to get a message from this person. Okay, you can see here the message represented here. Some kind of message, someone who is trying to open here their heart. I feel someone who finally knows the direction. Okay, so the direction of following the direction that their heart is pointing to them when they maybe have not trusted in the past. I feel like trusting more. Yeah, definitely being able to see here the hard work paid back. I feel like there's a lot of hard work here. The love is definitely there. And someone who wants to build foundations here. You can see the trees, the energies of being wiser, wanting foundations here, security, the energy of the Hierophant here as well with those trees. So no doubt the commitment, the next step, also one step at a time. It's not someone who is rushing to you know, really go through and tell you exactly what's going on, what they want. But I feel like they're approaching you slowly. And again, they're testing and checking on many of you how you feel first. Because it feels like they need that kind of security before being able to open up. Yes, yeah, definitely an energy here that uh, it's moving, guys. Okay, so I feel like very positive, this energy. There's a lot of healing here. Maybe you guys were in separation. Maybe this is an energy of twin flames, soulmates in separation. And you finally come into your time here reuniting after some difficult times too. Maybe they were hiding for a while. Maybe they had to fix their lives in some way. And uh, there's a lot of transformation. You can see the butterfly here as well. Yes, definitely an energy of 
connection now, union, and uh, being able to communicate with you. Some of them will communicate with you through social media. Maybe that's the way here they're approaching you first. Slowly, again, remember here, it feels like a slow move, okay, for you guys' separation. But remember, if you are already in a commitment, your person is checking if you want the same. Okay, so there are many things happening here, guys, and I feel like the energy is very positive. I do read the energy too, not just the cards, like I said. So I feel like this person is finally trusting how they feel. Even though it's slow, they're checking on you too. Do you feel the same? And they want the next level here of commitment or approaching you if you're going to give them a chance. It really feels here like it's more a reconciliation. I don't feel the energy of someone new in your life. You at least know this person as a friend. But for many of you, an ex coming back. Okay, so the energy of Twin Flame Soulmate Union here. And it feels very positive, okay? It really doesn't feel like it's going to take too long. But it's still this person not rushing. But it's not going to be too, too long now. Yeah, that's what I have here for you, Group 1. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Also, my Patreon link in case you want to become a patron of this channel. We do have six different levels for you to connect with me. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi group two, if you chose the appetite, we leave here for now and we start with your tarot. There will be a few other decks here and also charms. But what's next in your love life? Do you have empress? Empress is straight away. Nine of swords. What's next in your love life? Group two. Ten of wands. I'm gonna get some clarifiers as well. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, Temperance. Okay, so we start with this. I'm gonna add a few other cards here. I'm gonna clarify a couple of them already. But I see here Empress. Okay, guys, so with the Empress, the energy it's manifestation, blessings, something it's about to come here. Anyway, to show you guys some changes, some possible doors opening here. So if you are in a relationship here, I feel like there is a new time here for you guys, for a new cycle as well. Some blessings coming. You know, so she's pregnant here as well. So maybe pregnancy for some of you who are together. You know, so even some pregnancy for you guys who, you know, if you are in a relationship here. So there's a chance here. The Aquatus 2018 is not all pregnancy for everybody. It is meaning that, you know, there are blessings, miracles to come. So she is on that uh, expectation mind frame, you know, blessings, gratitude mind frame, staying already in a positive energy because you know something is about to open, some miracles, you know, blessings to come. So whatever that is, for some of you could be specifically like that, you know, but many of you may not be in a relationship right now. And I feel like this energy here really doesn't feel like someone new, okay? It really feels like someone coming back into your life because I see here there's a lot of nine energies. You can see here the 10. There's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of stress as well. Maybe someone who wants to communicate with you, but they're having, you know, stress, overthinking here, anxiety about connecting you back. Will you take them back? Do you want to give them a chance or not? I feel like there has been a lot of hard work in the background. Maybe there was a lot of you know, energies of hurting each other in need to allow healing, forgiveness, really working deep here on these feelings to be able to trust them again and align here to open the door, to open the chance again for you guys. Because, you know, the 10 is the energy of hard work. So there's a lot of hard work in the background here. This energy of the Six of Cups is soulmate energy. So it could be that uh, you already know who this is anyway because of the soulmate energy. But with the nine of ones here as well is someone who did not give up on you. Even if they are not communicating right now, even if they are quiet, even if you guys are in separation, but healing, it really feels like a person is just in a still moment here because they are wounded, they are hurt, and they are trying to come back to you. If you guys are in a relationship, I feel like there are things here that your person wants to talk to you, wants to resolve. So you guys can have goals together and see what's to come. What blessings, what doors can you open here? What are the difficult things that maybe needed to talk about and cut away what's not serving us all in this connection? So things can start evolving, growing. 
I feel like there's an energy of more communication needed here if you guys are in a relationship or not some kind of communication opening we do have temperance here too asking you for patience telling you there's definitely healing happening this is sagittarius energy and there is those fires energy here too so i do feel like it could be you know sagittarius here your person could be your sign here too sun moon rising i'm gonna get more charms with the uh, zodiac signs as well so there will be more of that but just to understand here, it really feels like if you are in a relationship, it feels like blessings can come. But you guys needed to have more conversation. It feels like your person wants to have a sit down, talk to you. Where are we going from here? What are, is the hard work that we needed to do here together? Because it feels like maybe both of you are doing things here in separation instead of working together and helping each other as well. Especially if you are in a relationship, you know, but if you are in separation or this is an energy here It feels like a reconciliation an ex trying to come back into your life But there's still things to happen. There's still things that need to unfold here like the forgiveness Really working on the shadows here. It feels like maybe both of you could be hurt here But in any case your person here feeling like wounded hurt and stressed as well Because it feels like they don't know if they com can communicate with you if this is the best way to approach, it feels like they're stressing out, overthinking. It may not be as difficult as they're thinking, but this is a perspective as well. I wanted to clarify here the Nine of Swords. Because an energy here of stress as well. Overthinking. What is going on here? Even if you're in a relationship, maybe there's some stress. Maybe you guys can put some time here together to spend more time together as well. King of Swords, yeah. You find, your person is finding it difficult to communicate, okay? So the King of Swords wants to communicate. Can be, you know, someone who wants to open up. This energy here is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But also someone who wants to talk here. But many times they can create high walls as well. Instead of just sitting down, being honest with you. It is the best at communication, but it can be the worst when it cuts away. When something doesn't go their way. So it feels like they are finding hard here to let you know sitting down, being completely honest with you, what is bothering them, especially if you're still in a connection here. And even if you're not, maybe this person is not sure how you will react here if they reach out to you. It feels like thinking a lot about you, but there's a lot of hard work happening and feeling like the work has been done alone when you guys could be helping each other here. It really feels here, it's really a talk here, especially if you're in a connection that what we're gonna do now, what are our goals, what can we do together? What are the things that are not serving our connection that we need to cut away as well and resolve being honest with each other and be able to keep evolving and growing? Because the energy of six is evolution, evolving, growing. But sometimes we do need to go back to forgive, to allow healing on whatever happened in the past, whether we are together or not right now, to be able to then allow the healing and keep evolving. The energy of six is evolution, moving. But there is a need many times with the Six of Cups specifically to allow the healing to go back. You know, it's one step back to be able to finally go forward. And this is a step back here. If you are in a relationship, could be talking about what's not serving, what, uh, you know, you guys maybe hurt each other. And even if you are not together, allowing the healing. Because it really feels like someone who is thinking about you and nostalgic about you. Thinking about maybe the good times of the past or when things were easier for you guys. Even if you are in a relationship right now, you know, sometimes we do have easier times in the past and then maybe now it's very busy, very difficult. And they are trying to just find balance again because temperance is asking for balance, for patience with each other and allowing healing. Okay, so take what's resonating, whether you are with someone or not, but it feels like what's next here. It doesn't feel like an energy of someone new coming into your life. It feels, you know, if you are uh, single right now, is an energy of a soulmate coming back into your life here okay so maybe you'll know they were always your soulmate your twin flame but it feels energy here of we do have sagittarius and we do have air signs here as well i do want to clarify this nine of wands here as well you know so this nine here what's going on yeah king of wands you see when we come to see the king here confirming again the fire signs okay so aries leo sagittarius nine of wands with the king of wands is the courage, the focus, the energy here to not give up. I really feel like a person, it's not new coming back into your life because it's someone who did not give up on you, but they know that they need to work here on the wounds, on the things that you guys hurt each other, or maybe even past connections, karmic connections. Maybe they are ending a difficult situation right now to clear their lives, to be able to open the chance here, the real chance to be with you. Maybe they didn't have a chance before, 
and now they're really working on that so it's a lot of courage focus doing what you have to do trusting that fire that passion yeah and definitely air energy and fire energy here so it could be yours there's here but you know specifically sagittarius here as well confirming so it really feels here that is because your person need that time sometimes to fix you know whatever is going on there that is affecting this connection to not go forward so again here if you guys are not together but if you are together right now there's a lot of focus here your person really wants to see this connection evolving going to the next level of commitment get getting focused here on what you can do together what are your goals together what are your plans for the future it feels like your person wants to have this conversation with you but they are just afraid here of maybe how they are approaching you so they are building the courage to do that let's get some other energies here just to understand what else can we get here we do have trapped you see the energy of the nine of swords maybe feeling trapped here not knowing exactly how to approach you how to start this conversation with you how they will be being gentle enough with the conversation maybe you guys hurt each other in the past and they wanted to bring a conversation back here so it can allow healing or if there is no communication at all right now how to communicate when they feel trapped maybe some of you as well who are in separation your person may be feeling trapped here on karmic connections difficult connections of the past is still healing from situations here that happened to them in the past feeling a bit trapped on how to communicate and also where they are right now in their lives okay but if you are together guys again not sure how to approach you how to have these conversations maybe difficult conversations for some of you anything else here habits okay so it could be the energy of bad habits something that did not serve this connection could be things that uh, did not help in the past okay so maybe there's a need to have a conversation about that if you're in a relationship or not maybe someone who wants to approach you again and tell you i have changed it you know i had my bad habits i'm going to prove myself to you that kind of energy here with the habits okay could be codependencies things that did not serve this connection any kind of habits here that were not good okay so they i feel like there's a recognition here i know where my problem is coming from i'm going to tell you that it's going to be different now i'm working on it i have been working very hard the 10 of ones energy sorry guys my camera stopped there a little bit what i was saying it's you know the energy of the 10 of ones it's when someone is doing a lot of hard work in the background and maybe they need your help too to get rid of any bad habits or prove themselves to you and also see how things can keep evolving here for you guys let's get more cards here and understand your person okay, i'll take this one cycles okay cycles here the energy that they may not want to repeat the same cycles the same mistakes from the past they want the new cycles new chances new opportunities with you they want to keep evolving so whether you are with this person, they want to keep evolving for the next level of commitment, seeing a clean start here for you guys, or someone coming back into your life, you know, so depends if you're in a relationship now or not, but it feels like a lot of you guys, this person coming back, it really doesn't feel like an energy of someone new here. This is someone who did not give up on you, working hard here, try to prove themselves to you. Also, you know, whether if you are still together here, the energy of moving forward, you know, working together talking about difficult things that maybe happened in the past work on forgiveness healing closing cycles that did not serve this connection get rid of habits issues things that did not serve and keep evolving but in any case i feel your person feeling a bit trapped here on the communication you needed to get rid of stress overthinking maybe this is not gonna work but there's that energy here too let's try to get more information here what else can we understand here about your person okay so what's next here for you guys dreams yeah beautiful dreams coming to reality someone dreaming about the future with you you know this energy here it's really i still dream about you i want to have a future with you i'm thinking about you all the time and i want these dreams to come into reality things that you guys wanted to do together and dreaming together future life together maybe having kids together maybe building a family a house Whatever that is, wherever you guys are right now, this person wants this next step here for you guys. They wanted to bring some dreams into reality. Beautiful energy here. Someone dreaming about you, dreaming about the future with you. Opportunity. Yes, this person is definitely waiting for the right opportunity, the right moment to approach you. That's why that overthinking here about how will they communicate, how they will approach you. It really feels like someone who is trying here, waiting. Is this the right moment? 
is it the best time maybe again if you are with them they could be checking on you is this a good day and if you're not together maybe someone who's checking on your social media are you with someone can i approach you now dreaming about that planning i feel like trying to organize the best day the best opportunity i feel like they don't want to waste another opportunity maybe they feel like they wasted the past and they don't want to go through that again waiting for the best opportunity to approach you here the best time anything else here group two focus yeah the energy of that king of ones that's what i said focus there's a lot of focus here i wanted to see this progressing i wanted to do this now i don't want to lose my opportunity this person is really focusing on you there's a lot of focus on this is going to work this time i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna prove myself to you and you really feel someone who wants to come back into your life guys if you have them already they want that next level of this communication here of this relationship but it feels like they wanted to plan things together it feels like they wanted to ask you do you want to have a child with me do you want to move in with me do you want to be together do you want to maybe you know call each other boyfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend girlfriend and girlfriend and also whatever having titles depends where you are maybe it's early days in your connection and this person is thinking what's the next maybe you are in separation here and this person's waiting for the right opportunity focusing here when is the best time to approach you because they did not give up on you they still dream about you they're dreaming about the future with you but it feels like it's a cycle energy it feels like you guys are moving to the next cycle in this connection. Wherever you guys are now, something is going to move forward. So take what's resonating, wherever you are. Maybe it's early days in a relationship. And maybe you are together for a while. Maybe you are separation. But it really doesn't feel like it's a new energy. It feels a reconciliation, moving forward, commitment here. New cycles is starting in this connection. I wanted to get extra cards here and then some charms too. Okay, I'm going to take this one that came out facing up which is intuition so it feels their person here is trying to trust how they feel their intuition again here waiting for the right moment the right opportunity trusting their feelings for you maybe they didn't trust before and now they are waiting they're trusting more and they can see a future together they can dream about this again and anything else here do have evolution yes the energy of evolving growing new cycles no doubt you guys are moving Wherever you guys are, that's what I said. Wherever you are right now in this connection, something is evolving, growing. Okay, so this really feels here like if someone you already know or many of you could be already in a relationship anyway that's evolving, but if you're not together, it really doesn't feel like a new energy. It feels like someone coming from your past. Maybe if you don't want your ex back, doesn't mean like it's an ex. It could be someone that was your friend in the past. Maybe you guys didn't have an opportunity to be together in a relationship, but they always had feelings for you or they realized that they have feelings for you. It could be a friend coming here into your life in a new phase in this connection, a new cycle. Maybe you guys are just friends right now and things are evolving. Okay, so take what's resonating. Doesn't mean like it has to be an ex, but it feels like it's someone you know anyway. It really feels like it's not a new, brand new someone, but it could be just things evolving in this connection. Could be just friends right now. So take what's resonating for you guys. And one more card here, and we take some charms. We do have friends. What did I just say? Yes. Some of you guys could be just friends right now. Okay. So that's what I said. And you see confirmation here for you. No doubt. So don't think that this has to be an ex. It is for some of you. Feel in your heart here what's resonating. And you know the message is applying for you. It's a general reading. But you know there are many things here that it will be specifically for you. So the guides here. The spirit will help you to connect with what's for you as well. So many of you could be friends right now. And things evolving here to the next level. Someone declaring themselves to you telling that they have feelings for you maybe you are already in a relationship but you needed to work on the friendship side of the relationship maybe you guys need to be more friends towards each other having more time to each other doing more fun things together that you would normally do with a friend having more time of that to develop so things can keep evolving no doubt things are evolving here and i wanted to add the charms here too not sure if you have seen me using the charms they are all here now and I'm going to use more charms on my readings now because it helps with uh, zodiac signs, names, dates, so anything else here. So let's see here. I'm going to try to mix here as well. Okay. So you can see you do have some letters. So it could be your initials, their initials. E-O could be a nickname. Whatever you 
see there it's calling your attention it's for you it's double o i e we do have numbers four three we do have one we do have uh, trustworthy of the taurus we have taurus here double confirmation on taurus okay and trustworthy as well i feel like someone who you trust or who wants to prove themselves to you that you can trust them again or someone who wants to tell you you can trust me things are evolving here for us definitely an energy of cutting away what's not serving being able to have that conversation with you tell you maybe fears of approaching you no doubt commitment okay you can see here the rings commitment for you someone who wants a connection with you a relationship with you there's some kind of transformation that happened maybe this person changes and it really feels as if we do have the word always we have another ring here there's definitely hard work that hard work of the ten of wands is here and someone who was working hard here to tell you how they feel there's a lot of connection with the feminine side as well the energy of trusting their feelings some hard work being there connection here with the messages okay you can see this one as messages this and this here messages this person could be sending you a message could be social media but sending you a message i feel like it's a surprise okay this is more like a surprise something good coming away that you were unexpected here and definitely going deeper here yeah connection okay you, you guys could be friends many of you could be friends okay so the friends came here for a reason and that came into my mind the moment the card came right after so i feel like it's definitely confirmation here friends are working on the friendship side of the relationship as well you know even if you're romantic connected you have to work on the friendship side of being a friend being honest with each other and i feel like your person wants that next level of this commitment no doubt new cycles coming here for you guys but again so it feels here that uh, if you're in a relationship something is moving here but definitely working hard to cut away what's not serving so you guys can align your dreams align your goals together and see where you guys are going here evolving no doubt soulmate connection twin flame connections and uh, we do have taurus energy we do have air signs and the fire signs here too and uh, it really feels here if you again it's an ex coming back for you you feel in your heart how things are resonating and also the zodiac signs the initials everything that's come here that can help you out to recognize this person and uh, it really feels like things are evolving for you guys wherever you are in this connection in this situation things are evolving things are moving forward here and it's a new cycle it's starting in this connection a new phase here where you guys are or coming back here into your life even if it's a friend telling you how they feel and things can move into a romantic if you give them a chance or you know a next coming back as well but many of you will see new cycles coming back and i feel like a very very positive cycles dreams coming true trusting modern intuition connections with soulmates twin flames here no doubt getting rid of what was not serving so you guys can see blessings coming your way like i said you know even the empress here new phases pregnancy expecting blessings here no doubt new cycles that's what i have here for your group too i hope this helps you out and resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions my link is below for private readings as well for my etsy shop everything you see in front of you and much more is there including my link for patreon as well if you want to connect with me if you're new consider subscribing like and share this video it helps the channel very much and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching hi group three if you chose the rose quartz we live here for now we start with some tarot but i'm gonna be adding many other cards as well charms too but what's next in your love life group three king of cups straight away here guys water signs cancer scorpio pisces energy could be your person could be yourself six of wands let's get the cards here six of cups to have the devil five of cups okay nine of cups we're gonna get some clarification on some cards here as well 
but just to start to know this could be your person could be yourself but the energy here of the water signs cancer scorpio pisces it really feels like celebrations after battles maybe something that you have been working hard here you know your love life trying to heal trying to open this path here and finally see something moving here in your love life and it could have been something that you had the hard connections difficult connections karmic ones and you're just going through all these battles it really feels like there's a lot of learning evolving growing healing that's happening here maybe even right now you're focusing why is this didn't happen why that relationship if you know that's the case here for some of you i feel like there is an energy of something that is coming here for you and it really feels here guys i know we're dealing with different cases so some people are you know no connections at all some could be in relationships I feel like there's an energy of new here for your group three. This is soulmate connection. This actually came in all the groups, the six of cups here. So there, there are many of you dealing with soulmate, twin flames connections. Some of you could be in separation or just waiting for them. Who's my soulmate? Who's my twin flame? Waiting for them to come into your life. Some of you could be already in this relationship. Just confirming to you, this is your soulmate. But there's still things that needed to grow, evolve in this connection. It feels like there's some negativity, there's some codependencies, there are things that you need to cut. Could be from the past as well. Could be an ex here that was trying to control your life, maybe still trying to control your life. And you need to cut the cords here to be able to open the door here for the new blessings. I feel like there's a wish coming through here, blessings coming away. But not uh, holding back to the past because that can stop, you know, your door here to open. I feel like that person, that relationship, the dream coming true, it feels like it's so close here for you guys. But there's something to cut away first from the past. If you are in a connection here already, this could be negativities and issues that are not serving this connection. Maybe even some connection with the karmic or healing. It doesn't mean like your person is with them, but it could be healing from that past connection. So if you are in a connection right now with this person, this is confirmation here that this is your soulmate. This is your twin flame, whichever way you recognize here yourself. But there's still battles here for you guys to learn to evolve the six is always an energy of moving and you have two sixes. So it really is evolving, pushing here this connection to go to the next level. But it feels like there's something for you guys to work on and really cut away. And there are many things that uh, you guys can focus on this connection that it's working well. Even if you're not together right now and you need to have that hope with the reason here to fight for, focus on what did work and not what didn't. It really feels like, uh, you know, when we cry here about spilled milk things that didn't work out why this didn't work out for me and it feels like pay attention to the lessons what did you learn about that about yourself about your person about your boundaries who you really want in your life what about yourself putting yourself first allowing healing i feel like there are many blessings here to come your way but you could be stopping them stuck in negativities of the past you could be stuck in the past here thinking why this relationship didn't work i really wanted i fought for it you know i tried my best but sometimes we are just fighting for something that uh, is not the best for us, okay? So if you are not in a connection here, guys, it feels like there is a cutaway from the past that needs to happen. Even if there were battles, there's a need to focus what is the lesson here so I can let go of the past as well. Of course, you do have the free will to do whatever you want. But the energy, the way that is coming here, it's like you have new blessings coming away, new relationships, new people. People that you can really trust how they feel for you. They're not afraid of expressing themselves to you. They're not holding back. Maybe how the other person did. Not trying to control your life. Not playing games. Hot and cold. On and off connection. It really feels like you could be blocking your soulmate or twin flame to come your way. If you keep stuck in this situation. For you guys who are in a relationship. It feels like there is a new phase that can come your way. But there is a need to cut away with negativities, codependencies. Even on the connection here. Even if you are in a relationship, you can still trust enough the person that you can do things by yourself. You can all have your independent life and not being dependent so much of the other one, but being there for each other, adding on, not merging. But it really feels like there's, there are things that you need to focus on that are working well here in this connection, in this love life for you to be able to trust here and even focus on yourself. For many of you who are still healing and you need to cut from the past. There's a need to focus here on what is important for you. I do want to clarify these two energies here, the devil and the five. So let's see here with the devil. What is going on here? What can we understand about this connection? Ask your higher self, spirit guides here to help us too. Okay, yeah. Walking away, guys. The devil energy here, okay? Walking away from this energy. 
So the guides are telling you, doesn't mean like you have to do. It's just the energy that is coming here for you. It's your choice, of course. So the guides are saying here, even if it's difficult to walk away, because the walk away from the Eight of Cups is not easy. You really need to trust your heart. This is the best for me, even if it's hard right now, even if it's difficult right now. So it's really choosing you, choosing yourself, putting yourself first. I'm going to choose my path because I know this is not good for me. Even if it's for your person to come back in your life at some point, if it's meant to be, it will be. But really trusting here the divine time, trusting the guides, trusting that you need to do the best for you first. You know, so many of you could have been lost or codependent of this person or really getting struggles here that you don't see this moving because you could be stuck there, you could be feeling stuck as well. Maybe you feel like it's more difficult than it is. You know the energy of the devil many times. We don't realize those chains are not that tight. You can walk away whenever you just put your heart into it and you just try. Okay, so there's definitely this energy here of trusting your heart, trust your intuition, trust your guides. Doesn't mean like you need to rush into anything, but there's definitely something for you to think about what's not serving here anymore. Even if for you guys who are in a relationship, what's not serving this connection? Is a way of communicating? Is it dramas, fights, the same fight over and over? There's a need to focus on what is good here. Fight for what is good. Fight for yourself as well, guys. If you needed to cut away with the connection because you could be blocking here. Your soulmate, your twin flame, your blessing. It's right here. Wish is coming true. The wish, that relationship that you dream about. I feel like it's right here waiting for you guys. Let's clarify the five. Five of cups. Five of cups here. You can clarify three of ones yeah is the energy that um, i feel like is the hope that something is going to change you know we keep looking we keep waiting for something to come to save us to resolve here the energy that uh, this time is going to work out i give another chance you know why not and even feeling like poor me i can't get anything better than this you can guys you deserve the best you deserve someone who treats you well remember that too okay and for Guys, in a connection that you are doing well in this connection or you want to keep your connection. I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but there's a need to fight for what is important. Focus on what it's really a reason to fight, a reason to have constructive criticisms and being able to communicate properly here. We don't have uh, any of the swords here. So maybe communication is difficult here for you guys. Whether you are in this relationship and it's difficult to communicate or you are on and off in the situation, or you're not communicating at all with your person. It really feels here, guys, that you have new blessings coming your way. Allow the new. When we release as well, it doesn't mean like you give up completely on someone. It means that you trust the divine timing. When it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's going to come back. Trusting as well. Releasing is when we allow the blessings to open the door here for us. Many times we stay on that energy of need, and we keep you know, bringing that over and over again. The need... You need that person. You want them back. You keep on the energy of need and want and lack. And that's what you keep coming. So trust as well the divine time. In case you believe this is someone you want back. But it really feels like you could be blocking blessings for new. I really feel energy here of new for you guys. Group 3. And at least a new phase in your connection if you're already in a relationship. But for you guys who are single, the energy is here. Cutting away what, with what's not serving. Walk away, guys. Trust your divine Trust your inner wisdom. Trust your higher self here, your guides. Maybe you clicked on this video for a reason. You click on three for a reason. Could be the guide that you need as well. Anything else here for us to understand that this energy here? Evolving. Guys, things are evolving. We need to evolve as well. Grow. Straight away, I feel the energy of learning lessons, harder, difficult lessons. You need to evolve as well. Those challenges, those relationships happen to us so we can learn about ourselves, about our limits, about who is actually good for you and not good for you. Our repetitive cycles as well. Are you allowing the same kind of person over and over in your life? Many times you're stuck here in nostalgia thinking about the good times, but it did work before. But really, there is a need to analyze here properly. Is this really serving you? Is it serving your evolution? You're growing, you're evolving with this. You're so calling here too. Many times we get stuck on the Six of Cups as well. The past. There's a need to evolve here, guys. Also, soulmate. What did I say? There's a soulmate connection, guys, waiting for you. I feel the energy of new. I don't read the, just the cards, the energy too. 
And if this is not resonating with you guys, check one of the other piles. They definitely did not have new, you know, but the energy here, it's soulmate, it's new energy. It really feels here. Like you do have a soulmate waiting for you, a twin flame waiting for you. Maybe you thought this was a soulmate, but it is a karmic lesson. Or sometimes the soulmate come into your lives, but it's not the soulmate that you're going to be with for good in this lifetime. Maybe it's a soulmate that comes to teach a lesson, to learn together, to evolve. Take what's resonating here, guys. What can we understand here? Romance, yes. You do have romance. You do have, you know that energy of romantic person to be with you, this king of cups energy. The one that really express themselves to you. The one that knows how to show how they feel for you. They're not holding back. They're telling you how they feel. I feel like energy of romance like movies. You know that kind of dreamy relationship here. Not that the relationship is perfect. All the relationships need some kind of evolving, growing. But it feels like you can achieve that. I feel like it's here waiting for you. Also, if you are in a relationship, you can achieve that in this connection that you have already. If you are with your person, not in separation, not in no communication here, guys. I mean, the guys that are in a relationship already, I feel like you can evolve. The energy of six is evolution. It's growing. It's moving ahead. But also, there's a need to pay attention to what is the lesson. So there are things for your connection. If you are in a relationship right now, that you need to analyze, what you need to walk away from, cut away things that do not serve. And you guys who are in separation or on and off connections or someone who's not communicating with you for a long time and you're still waiting. There is a need here. The guides are saying you have an opportunity now to walk away. Trust, you know, the divine time, the energies here of releasing as well. That something can open here for you. There's a new energy here, soulmate energy for you. Let's get more time here. I'm going to get some charms as well. So we're going to get zodiac signs, initials. Anything here that you can recognize this person whenever you meet. Because I feel like you do have an energy of new coming here, guys. Okay, new challenges. Yes, it really feels like you have been going through challenges here, difficult times. Challenges in this connection as well. But it's not like you, you cannot, if you are in this connection, communicate. Talk, decide here what you wanted to do together. But it feels like you needed to understand that the challenges come into our lives for a reason. For us to learn. Take difficult times, challenges as a stepping stone for you to evolve, to grow. And you can manifest something here. Wisdom. Learning, guys. Getting wiser. Making wiser decisions. Making different decisions because maybe you're going through the same issues over and over, the same cycles over and over. What have you learned here? You know, making wiser choices as well for yourself. Yeah, there's definitely learning evolving here. No doubt. Wisdom through challenges as well patience okay guys patience here doesn't mean like you need to rush into anything maybe you're, you are trying to cut a connection maybe you're trying to heal maybe you're trying to end the relationship that you know is not serving you have patience as well it doesn't mean like it needs to be very quick doesn't mean like it needs to be the next relationship straight away the guys are asking you have patience as well for healing because healing is necessary here to be able to really start evolving and growing the energy of the king of cups is also the healing. Many times we are inside a lot of emotions and overwhelmed as well. There's a need to calm and there's a need to find the balance. It really feels like patience here is going to help you out. I'm going to get some other cards here. What else can we understand here for group three? There's definitely a lot of lessons here, guys. And it could be difficult lessons. Okay, I can understand here. Wisdom. Twice, guys. Okay, different decks. I didn't even know they had the same word, wisdom. I feel like it's double confirmation because the guys are telling you, pay attention. When I see repeated words here on my cards, if the guides are telling you, pay attention. What are the wise decisions that you can make right now that will make the difference on your future connection, on your connection right now if you are with someone that you wanted to keep? It really feels here, guys. Being clever. Putting yourself first. Making different decisions as well. Because if you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, you know it's not going to happen. If you're seeing the same thing over and over, you need to do something different. Learning here. Evolving. Any other focus here? Abundance. Abundance, I feel like, is this energy here of that uh, Nine of Cups. No doubt. Abundance, blessings, doors opening, 
This is not just financial. This is feeling that you are on the right path, on the right place, with the right person. So I feel like you can feel this abundance. You can feel this in your heart. When you allow yourself this new door, there is a soulmate connection. I feel like you can recognize each other. You can really recognize that you are meant to be together. It was worth the wait, the patience here. And if you are not with anybody right now and you're just thinking, what's next for me? You do have a new person coming your way. Even if it has been a challenge before, take care of yourself. Allow healing. Allow forgiveness. Get ready. Prepare yourself because that person is coming. Get ready. Don't bring any luggages to this connection. Divine masculine. Yes. Confirmation here. Twin flames, connections. Divine masculine energy. The action energy as well. Your person is coming, guys. And I really feel it's new. Okay, so... I think what's resonating, many of you could be feeling like your soulmate, your twin flame is coming back here as well. But it feels like it's a new, it's a renewal. It is it's starting from zero in some way. But it feels the energy of a new person coming away. We got to the water signs here so far. But let's get some charms here as well to get more zodiac signs, initials, or anything else. Not sure if you have seen me using the charms. They're all here. And it's just a lot of things here. I have added meaning to them. I have added energies here come and help you out so we have already one letter coming okay could be your initials their initials nicknames i'm just trying to mix here so whatever comes here comes for you i'm gonna take some zodiac signs here too okay so there are lots of letters so it could be like i said nicknames so we do have uh, a straight away here scorpio aquarius the letter k y O, we do have E, G, could be your initials, their initials, nicknames, S as well, okay? Do have numbers, could be birthdays, when you meet, could be the date of the month, 16, 18, 24, 10, okay? Also, 5 is here, 5, so... There's another one here, 17. Okay, so many numbers could be when things are happening here for you guys. I feel like there's definitely some kind of heartbreak here. Where you guys are right now, or where you guys were, or this person is coming from as well. Maybe they are resolving their lives. Maybe they are ending a karmic connection, a difficult time here to be with you, to open up. But it feels like the energy of renewal, starting new. You know, clearing the heartbreak as well. Hard work. It really feels hard work payback because your hard work here, getting out of masks, being honest with yourself, whoever's involved in your life. I feel like this person coming away now is with the roots. They want security. They want commitment. There's definitely a lot of love, romance there. There's this feminine energy here, which is the energy of emotions, feelings, being able to really express themselves. Remember here the energy of the King of Cups as well. Being able to really express how they feel for you. Not someone who is playing with you. Not someone who is hiding their feelings for you. Someone who is out of masks. You see the mask here is out. No masks here. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. Someone who you wanted to hold on to and they want to hold on to you. We do have the sun as well. You can see the happiness, guys. No doubt that nine of cups, fulfillment, wishes coming true. The happiness coming here. The sun coming. And the sun bringing the clarity of mind as well. Understanding who you meant to be with. Who do you really want in your life? Cutting away what's not serving. Opening the path here for you. So it's either a renewal here, guys, of a real strong connection. Soulmate, twin flame connections. But many of you, it's new because it's someone new in your life, okay? And uh, many of you, if you are in a relationship, like I said, it's like a, a renewal on the connection. Letting go of what's not serving. Cutting away here, guys. Allowing healing. Because things are evolving. You do have six, six here. Moving, moving forward, evolving. And we got the word evolving as well. Have patience. We got twice wisdom. So I feel like you're really learning with your past. Allowing the past to be a stepping stone for you to keep allowing here the blessings to come. The door is going to open for you, no doubt. Yeah, that's what I have here for your group tree. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see in front of you and much more is there. 
Also, you can become a patron of this channel. I do have six different levels to connect with me, so check that too. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video, it helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.